Welcome back to another Back Nines video. Now the big question on my lips is, should I be using a five wood or a hybrid? Get down in the comments. Before we go even into this video, I want you to tell me what you are using. Because I also think sometimes there's some pros for using a hybrid, but there's also some massive pros for using a five wood but how do you make a decision at the top end of your bag to really get the most effective for your game? This is how. First thing, what are the specs of each of my clubs? Now, my Cobra Tour Rad Speed 5 wood is set at standard 17 and a half degrees and has got a shaft length of 42.75 inches. Now I've also got in this a Motor X 7S F1 Fujikura shaft. So that is the spec of my 5 wood. On my hybrid, I have a 19 degree Cobra King F9 and it's a one length one. I've done a video about this, I'll link down below best club in the world this one and this is around 34 inches because don't forget mine is a seven iron length now you'll be thinking Alex well both of them firstly are totally different lofts one's at 17 and a half one's at 19 there's a degree and a half difference in them they're also a lot different in length so surely you can have both in the bag well yes you can but you've got to remember this if you're carrying four wedges right that is taking up a club at the top end of this bag. So the first thing that I would work out, right, the first thing that I'd take into account is what loft your four iron is. You can then, you can then base it on, should we go five wood or should we go three hybrid? So nice and simple. First thing, I'd look at what loft, but it goes more to that, doesn't it? Because some of us get on with hybrid and some of us hate hybrid and some of us love fairy, fairy woods and some of us hate them. Okay, so let's open this discussion a little bit further, but I'm gonna tell you how I tee them both up from the tee. We're gonna go and play this 12 hole here at Motcham Hall. Now the first thing that I would do, we're gonna hit five wood first. So let's get this one pegged up. Now the first thing that I would do is when I peg this up, come and have a look closely at that. I have it where I got a finger underneath the ball i can get one thing underneath and that might be a little bit higher than what you do normally and it's definitely higher than what i do with my hybrid so stay clear on this right let's hit this one down here this is five wood see how this one travels this one i anticipate from memory i hit this club in a while goes a lot higher than my hybrid So you see how high that was, and it might shock you that that was higher, or I do think it goes higher than this, because obviously this has got more loft, but what I find is that goes higher because it's a bit of a longer shaft, and I create a bit more speed, and then a bit more spin. Now from the T, I would say, like, there isn't much difference apart from the distance this ball goes in what you can do in your performance with the club. It would just come down to personal preference whether you prefer a five wood or a five hybrid. Okay, T height now on this one, I get it just maybe, I can't even get a finger underneath that. It's like half a finger. If T is just, just poking out the top of the ground. Okay, let's have a look at this flight. A lot flatter. Straight down the middle, look at that. We like that. Now I've got a story for you about Josh on this hole and why on earth you'd use a fairway wood. But before that, right, um, if you haven't been sticking on social media and you haven't seen this, Patrick Reed beef with Rory McIlroy throwing a tee. Rory definitely 100% knew what he was doing. Head down, not looking at him, through the tee. But I mean, it's not a fair game, is it? Christmas Eve with your family and you get a subpoena on your doorstep. Not a nice guy, is he? Not a nice guy, Patrick Reed. Okay, from the rough, right? Now listen to this story. Let's just give it some context. The reason why I've come to the 10th hole here at Mottram, look where the green is, just spin around, the green is there. Right, I was playing a foursome. One of those members was Josh. Now you know Josh from the podcast. Um, I have taught him, but he didn't listen to a word I said. Now, I was stood just about here, to the right. I could see him pull out his fairy wood, his five wood, and try and play it from thick rough. And all I thought in my back of my mind was, you ain't got no chance, mate. 
You ain't got no chance. You could put the best swing on it in the world there, Josh. All you're gonna do is hit a low one. And what did he do? Stubborn, did that. You should listen to his mate, the PJ Pro, right? Actually, you shouldn't listen because I didn't tell him. Kept in my mind, I was against him, not with him. Okay, let me just show you that. So, I've got a ball. Come over here with me. And it was lying like this. Like, literally like this. Look at that lie. <laughs> literally look at that. I mean, it might not look that bad first up, but that is an absolute horror show of a lie. Like, that's made for a hybrid or actually even an iron. So simply, like, I always think about like my hybrid as, does what it says in the tin, as a hybrid rescue. You get out the crap with it. Okay, let me hit one, but for, just have a look at that lie again, because that is terrible. Just to prove my point, at the end, we'll put both shots next to each other and just think, do what Alex said, don't be stubborn. All right, now I'm looking at that lie again and I'm thinking, what on earth am I doing here? What on earth am I doing? It's actually comical. Right, okay, here we go. It's literally gonna come out like I've got the head cover on. I guarantee, look how low this comes out. Feel a bit of pressure now. I better do what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Here we go. <laughs> I mean, that is literally as best as I could hit it. It just comes out low because you can't get to the bottom of the ball because of the lie. So, let's grab hybrid, let's prove this point. But think about it this way, right? How I would make the decision for your game, we said about use the loft of your foreign. That is a good sort of marker. But also, I would think about are you using a fairway wood as a substitute to help you as a crutch, right? Like that, as a crutch. Um, if your driver is absolutely out of whack one day, or are you using it as a club to help you get to the green and get you out of trouble? If it's out the rough, get you out of trouble towards the green, I would definitely go down the route of hybrid, okay? And if it's from the tee, that's when I would go down the route of fairway woods, five woods. Don't even bother with the three woods, I don't even entertain one of them. There's one in my bag, I can't remember the last time I used it. Do you carry one? Get down in the comments if you carry a three wood. I hate the things. Right, we're gonna put it in a very similar lie to what we just did. Okay, have a look at this here. Go down, look at that. Same lie as we had before, a bit of chunky grass behind it. Now this is plays more like an iron, so this will really, really, really help me. I've got one more piece of advice for you on how to choose between them as well. Okay, and well, I'll leave it for a second. Okay, come on, let's hit this one away. This one will go a lot higher, same swing, similar as best as we can, matching the lie. Now look at the shot we get here. Oh, I want to focus on that ball flight. <laughs> it is actually mad how high and, well, God, that's gone so far, like a flyer. Totally different. Okay, like, other thing I would say, let's get out of this rough, because it's quite wet on my feet. It's one thing about winter golf, isn't it? Like, if you're watching the UK, I mean, I've gone brave today. We've gone these color trousers, and there are some mud speckles. Now, let's grab my five wood. I just want you to have a look, looking down on this. So there are some golfers out there who just categorically hate drivers. And if you are one of those, you hate the look of a big head, stay away from a fairway wood. Go down the hybrid route, because if I hold them up, you can see distinctively that this is a lot smaller in head, more like an iron, this is more like a driver. Okay, so if you're a golfer who hates their drivers, a bit marmite, definitely down one of these, 100%. Not even this brand, any brand, but just Definitely hybrid. Just to prove the difference in distance, squirmy, horrible one out the rough here. And then just briefly, just up here. So like, yeah, you could say, Alex, I, if you're from the fairway, you can use either. Yeah, you can, but we've got a plan for worst case scenario, haven't we? So how I do the top end of my bag? I go driver. I do carry a three wood, but it doesn't come out very often. I then either go hybrid, okay? so either three hybrid or three iron, depending how windy it is. Windy day, I put the three iron in, but it does exactly the same thing as a three hybrid. I then step into my four iron. That's how I set up my bag. I then carry the four wedges at the bottom. By the way, here's the ball. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching another Bat9 Films. It's Sunday, have a great one, and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow.